What's up guys, those remote guys, and we are back. Today we're coming out with a video about the Xbox One. Uh, it was just announced t on Tuesday, uh, May 21st, and um, here's Alan to talk a little more about it. Hey guys, so the Xbox One was just recently announced by Microsoft on Tuesday. Um, I actually had the privilege to actually watch them unveil it on Spike TV in school, which you know was pretty cool. And uh, recently, after it was released, um, there's been a lot of hate towards it right now, especially the name. And, you know, I, I really don't like the name, to tell you the truth. Xbox One compared to the Xbox 360, which, you know, sounded pretty catchy. And I would have liked the Xbox Infinity, but... Yeah, also the Xbox 720, uh, a lot of people thought that was uh, going to be the new name, but yeah, obviously it's not. Uh, but I think they went with the uh, Xbox One because it's like an all-together uh, solution. Like, it has the games together, the TV, and the way you interact in your, like, let's say, living room with it, it's like all in one thing. So that might be the reason behind it, and that's what I'd assume. Yeah, and... Um in the conference they didn't really they didn't show like anything basically on games they basically focused on tv and viewing and the uh, new connect which yes they're bringing the connect back um yay um but you know, there's a lot of problems that i have with it right now yeah no we were also like looking up some statistics about xbox one after we saw the uh press conference i guess you call it and uh, like visitors uh, to IGN and like people like gamers, they're saying that well, a poll taken by them said that more than 70% of them were disappointed with uh, having more of a focus on the entertainment side of the Xbox One uh, over the gaming side. Like they felt gaming should be the number one priority because Xbox uh, relatively is more of a gaming console and they feel that Microsoft really just focused on the entertainment side and I could see that like I could see why they're a little mad about that and I think that's what Alan's talking about like how there's hate going on with it and uh, we'll just see how it does when it goes on sale later this year but obviously the price hasn't been said yet yeah but you know there is some problems that I have with the one that you know won't be usable for 360 and that's you can't use 360 games on the one which basically screws everybody who got a 360 because you know you have to keep the system and if you get the one you only have to go back to the 360 play that and then if you have anything on one you can't play it on anything obviously anything else but um but the controller the controller like is a mix between yeah, definitely. like the 360 like I, I just i see the resemblance with it it yeah. didn't really change like the playstation 4 with the uh the touchpad in the middle but yeah like definitely you could see uh in my vision at least i could see the original xbox actually like layout controller and then it looks like they added a few new uh buttons but also took like the 360s buttons and uh, analog sticks and threw them in there. And I actually like the design because it's throwing in the old and mixing it in with the new. And uh, it looks modern too, so I'm excited to try that out. Uh, hopefully it's just as comfortable as the 360s controller because uh, I've played both PS3 and Xbox. I have both systems, so does Alan. And I have to definitely go with Xbox with uh, controller comfortness. What do you say about that? Yeah, you know, I've always been a PlayStation uh, player since PlayStation 2. I never got the PlayStation 1, but PlayStation 2. That, like, everybody had a PlayStation 2 back in the day. And, you know, nobody really was big with Xbox until the 360. That, that's what I think, even though Halo was huge. But, you know, I have to say that I do enjoy the 360 controller a lot more than the PlayStation 3 controller. But, you know, with the PlayStation 4, they did change, like, the design is basically the same for both. But what basically has, the PlayStation is over the Xbox, is, like, the touchpad in the, 
front, which uh, yeah, I'm kind of iffy on. I, I really don't know how I really feel about that. I don't know if that was a smart move or a dumb move, but we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, so PlayStation obviously does have some cool features, including the touchpad on the controller. But uh, Xbox, the Xbox One does have some pretty cool features that I did think were quite interesting, including the uh, voice control you have and that new Kinect they're coming out with. I'd assume it's a Kinect, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. Uh, when I was watching like the first, I guess, 20 minutes of the press conference, I saw the uh, announcer, I guess you'd say. He was actually doing this cool thing. He woke up the uh, Xbox with his voice, I believe. And then he also took his hands and he was like, he was uh, opening, uh, like, let's say one game at a time. And then he would swipe over and then he'd open a uh, TV show. And he'd also use his voice to say, like, open HBO. And uh, probably many of you have seen it, so you know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, it was really cool, like, making screens larger by grabbing air and just throwing his hands out uh, across his body and it was just really cool and that was definitely one thing I was interested in going feature wise. Yeah and with the Xbox One you're gonna see quite a few exclusives that you know PlayStation has the same thing but with Xbox um, one of the like the games I really want to see at E3 which happens in the beginning of June I think it's June 10th I believe uh, I don't know if G4 is going to cover like they used to because X-Play went off the air, unfortunately. But um, with games, I want to see, uh, you know, a new Fable because that's only an exclusive. I want to see the next Halo, um, you know, Crackdown. I, I don't think a lot of people know what Crackdown was, but it's like an open world and you're like a police officer in a way. And you had like a suit and I don't know how to explain it. You can like level up your abilities and... Supposedly, Crackdown 3 was leaked on the uh, reveal, and I actually did see a picture of this like orb thing on the Windows 8 view on the Xbox One, which, you know, it could have been there, just, you know, I, I don't know, maybe there is, but I would like to see that, but, you know, definitely a new Fable, because the last Fable was complete garbage, and, you know, I, I think a lot of people would agree with me. I didn't get Connect because I, I hate Connect. I'm sorry, I can't stand Connect. But Fable 3, you had so much potential and, you know, kind of screwed a lot of fans over, unfortunately, and hopefully they can come back from that. And I'm really excited to see Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto 4 was such a great game, and just what I've seen from, like, images and trailers of the new Grand Theft Auto, I'm just, I can't wait to see how it's going to actually look. So, uh, Grand Theft Auto and uh, Fable are definitely being anticipated by uh, many gamers, but uh, they actually haven't been uh, confirmed to be on the Xbox One, but it's uh, pretty much assumed that they will be. Um, but some of the uh, confirmed titles that will be on the Xbox One include games like Battlefield 4, the new COD Ghost, Forza's Motorsport 5, the popular FIFA 14, you know, that's a big game around the world. Uh, there's some UFC game coming out, I believe. Uh, I think another Madden's most likely to come out. And I think the Assassin's Creed Black Flag series or uh, editions coming out. So uh, definitely gonna wanna look for those. Uh, I think it's cool. And it's also uh, kind of unfortunate how uh, with the Xbox One, it's not compatible with the Xbox 360 games. So you can't go ahead and put in uh, Modern Warfare 2, for example and go ahead and play it on the Xbox 360. And that's kind of uh, disappoints me um, because I know Sony has always done that with their PlayStation. You look at the PlayStation 3 and it can go back and play PlayStation 1 games. So I, I, I don't know why they did that. I think it's kind of a dumb choice, but I guess they want people to get accustomed to the Xbox One and forget about the past or at least forget about the content of the past and try this new content. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes when the system and games are released. Yeah, but uh, you know, with E3, I'm actually, I'm actually really excited for this year compared to last year. Last year was a kind of a letdown because the year before that you had um, the big anticipation of Battlefield 3, MW3, Saints Row 3, uh, uh, was it Halo 4? I think it might have been Halo 4, but that doesn't really count. It was like the year of the threes, basically. 
And this year, you got Grand Theft Auto, you got COD Ghost, Battlefield 4, Saints Row, which, you know, I'm kind of really not really happy with the trailers, but uh, we'll see about that. And you just have overall all these games, and you know, I'm, I kind of want to see, the, even though I don't have a Wii U, because, you know, the Wii U sales compared to, you know, other systems, not the best, but um, what I want to see from Nintendo is a new Zelda game. And, uh, you know, other titles, big titles that were big on the Wii and GameCube and not like these sleeper hits that they've had that really haven't really been good. So, you know, I really want Nintendo to have like a kind of a big breakthrough, even though I know Sony and three, uh, Xbox One, excuse me, are going to have, you know, the biggest part of the show, which it, by far it's definitely going to have. But You also have to like look at, I know we're talking more about Xbox one, but uh, you see that Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft, it's always changing who's really having the dominance uh, of the gaming, and obviously right now it's Xbox or Microsoft with their Xbox 360, you could tell that there's a lot more Xbox players out there, but if you go back and look at when PlayStation 2 was out, Sony was definitely ahead at that time, and if you go even further back to when N64 and PS1 were out, I felt that a lot more people were uh, buying N64s. Um, I don't know why, I guess they were more appealing, the games were more appealing, and like Mario, those games, they're classics, that's always going to be uh, showing how dominant Nintendo was back at that time. So hopefully as you said, Wii U uh, and their games and maybe something else in the future with Nintendo will really have a spark. Um, but I also want to talk about a little bit of the hardware with the Xbox One. I really want to emphasize that the Xbox One is going to have a thing called 4K resolution and uh, I'm pretty sure 4K resolution is like above 1080p, it's like the next uh, type of resolution so it's like, it's going to be really crazy how HD and I don't even know if you'd call it high definition, it's just going to be an insane clear image and uh, it's also going to have some surround sound audio output I think I heard. So uh, I'm definitely excited to try that out when it comes, and uh, yeah. Um, and if we can go back to the Nintendo, some other um, games I want to see. Um, even though the Sonic games have been complete trash over the years, since like early 2000s, the games were good, but you know, after they started coming out with these stupid titles, you know, I think Sonic kind of went down, and uh, you know, I want to see another you know, big Sonic game, like, I, I don't know, and I, I know there's going to be, like, HD remake, uh, or a remake of The Wind Waker, which is a Zelda game, which was on the, uh, GameCube, that was a great, I, that's going to be big, I think, but, you know, if they make a lot of, like, HD remake, remakes, they can make some sales off of, you know, big class games, and, uh, I, I hope to see that, so... Uh, and I also want to focus a little bit on the like actual, uh, I guess you'd call it look of the Xbox One. Um, it looks like it comes in two parts, obviously the new Kinect and the uh, Xbox One itself. And uh, what's really cool about this new Xbox One, which I think Xbox 360 should have had, uh, that PS4 definitely had, was the Blu-ray disc compatibility. That was definitely a good benefit that PS or uh, Sony threw in. And uh, hopefully Xbox uh, increases their sales and this is more of an attraction for uh, other consumers. And yeah, I just think it's a smart move by Xbox or Microsoft and about time they threw it in. Yeah, I, that was one of the big things and I'm kind of glad they are finally throwing that in. But we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, I'm probably, I'm most likely going to get the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Right now, I don't have a Wii U. Maybe in the future I will, but I'm really not planning on getting it anytime soon. But Like, I'm curious what they're going to retail for. Um, I'm not positive. How much was the Wii U around? Uh, I, I think the deluxe version was like 350 I'm pretty sure. So. And so we'll have to see the, the price range for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Now, um... The Wii U, the PlayStation 4, and the Xbox One all are considered 8th uh, generation consoles. Um, 
and obviously they're all expected to come out this year, well the Wii U has already, but uh, I'm really curious about the price, I'd say maybe at the max $600, because I remember when PlayStation 3 came out, it was at least a high 500s at a point. Yeah, I, I got the first, the big PlayStation, I think it was yeah. around $500 to $600, it was ridiculous, but I still got it just because the next generation and um and how much was the xbox when it came out do you know i don't i don't i remember i didn't get the xbox and i don't know if i got it like years after it came out because i don't remember getting it i remember because i was always a sony person i really I, I xbox member wasn't big back in the day it was always you know playstation 2 so even though i had an xbox one i really never played it because you know I, some of the games, I'm, you know, PlayStation was just a dominant force, but, you know, that's what I think, but I really don't know how much it went for, but. Uh, so, we're going to wrap it up at uh, close to 15 minutes. I know it's so long, and we appreciate if you stayed through this uh, whole video. It, we'd really appreciate it if you also maybe shared it or liked it, give us a thumbs up. It really helps a lot. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, guys. And if you can also do us a favor, um, we do have Metro gameplay. Unfortunately, I didn't get the best of gameplay. I've been having trouble with my laptop lately. Um, the review, you know, it, it's all right. I lost my software, so I'm, I'm really not using an amazing software to make these videos. Um, we're trying to get back into YouTube, so we're back basically like Daft Punk coming back but we're trying to you know get out some big hits like we did with Skyrim but you know we're gonna try our best and uh hopefully we'll see you guys next time so like favorite and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching